I guess. I, I guess. This is happening now. Let's see if I still got it. I haven't done this in the, like, I want to say like a year. How did that pass? Welcome to another video. Or if you're new here, hi, look at my name, Nikki. I'm Nikki. Bitch. Good to see ya. Hi, welcome. How have you been? Um, I've been great. I haven't. I know, it's been quite a while. Last time you saw me was last year. Um, I'm pretty sure a lot of like, oh, did Nikki quit? Did he give up? Oh, like, what's going on? Well, this is what this video is about. I, I did not quit. I promise you, I did not quit. There was a shift up here for once in my life where it was like, um, I really need to change my perspective when it comes to doing content. Cause I, I don't want to say brainwashed, but that's the only word I could think of. <laughs> so like when I first started YouTube in 2015, I was brainwashed and I use that term very loosely. You had to upload every week to be considered a YouTuber and to get an audience. And I would upload and work so hard each week, every week. I would do that for like years upon years. I never missed a month. And recently during the pandemic, um, I was like, I don't need to press myself so hard to put content out when I'm expected to put content out. So I just kind of changed my perspective. I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna put content out when I feel like it, when I'm ready, when I'm, in the mood to do it. So I kind of like limited the stress on myself of trying to compile a video from scratch every week. Cause if you've been following me for a while or if you're new here, cause I know a lot of people have been subscribing since I've been gone. So hello, first of all, question mark. <laughs> there was nobody doing what I was doing as a small YouTuber. Like who, like let's run down, let's run down the list. Who was out here doing whole ass short films? Nobody. Who was out here doing whole ass interactive videos? Little clicky click games that you can do with a YouTube video? Nobody. Who was out here giving you full quality production? Storyline, thought out scripts, edits galore. Who was doing that as a small YouTuber? Nobody, nobody, nobody. I mean, I enjoy doing all that stuff, but I was like, I don't have to go so hard for consistency. Cause trying to do all that in a week, what I used to do, ridiculous. I was crazy. I don't know what I was thinking. Would I still do it? Probably. But I, I just, I was just like, you know what? I really go above and beyond for my efforts. And it's kind of hard to do that every week. So I kind of just changed my perspective and I was like, well, you know what? I'm just gonna upload when I feel like it. At this point, I have reached peak Beyonce and it's like, you don't hear from me until I release something. That goes for YouTube, Instagram, TikTok. You don't see me until I release something. I might be quiet, but that means I'm doing something, which is dangerous for you. So, so if you don't hear from me, I'm doing something. Like as of now, I have several things on work coming out pretty soon, so. Surprise, surprise. And also, if you can't tell by the background, Mickaween is coming back. So I'm excited for that. And I know it's September, but I was just decorating the room because I was like, I need to start filming Halloween content soon. That's kind of how I'm approaching social media now. And I'm kind of like realizing my worth as a creator that I don't have to push myself so hard. Not something I have to do, but something I want to do. It's going back to that origin of I want to do this. Because at a point, social media felt like I had to do this in terms of like being a content creator, but now it's like, I want to do this. So we're back to where we started, which is great. That's why I've kind of been like off the radar. And then on top of that, well, at the time, me and my mom were both home. She was working from home, so she, and she was doing telework, and I didn't want to film with her answering phone calls in the background, and I'm pretty sure she didn't want to answer phone calls with me talking to a camera. So I was like, I'm just gonna wait till she goes back to work. And she's went back to work. <laughs> We both went back to work, so I'm good. What else has been going on with me? I've been through hell. <laughs> this beginning of the year. Let me tell you, December, my grandmother got COVID. She's fine. January, my grandfather died, heart attack. April, beginning of April, um, somebody I was talking to was um, lying about talking to somebody else and kind of like leading me on and then things kind of hit the fan. And then that same month, I had to put down my dog, you all know Snowball, he's no longer with us. He was getting very, very sick, having seizures every single day, every single 
hour almost. And it was at the point where we couldn't afford to take care of him anymore. And we did not want to give him to someone else, put that like burden on someone else. And we didn't have the money to pay for medication. So the only option was to put him down. So we had to put him down in April, went through a really heavy depression in May, snapped out of it, and then started buying Halloween shit. <laughs> and then I was fine. <laughs> But it was like a really rough beginning of the year. Summer has been hell, going back to work, dealing with, you know, the whole like adjusting to the pandemic and dealing with like fucking people who are so anti-mask and vaccine. It's just, it's just been hell, it's been stressful. But you know, just doing what I do usually. Not care. But on the bright side, let's talk about some good things. I've done, well this is last year, but I got like two brand deals from like two big companies. I've done one, I've done a brand deal for Reebok, and I've done a brand deal for a company called Inkbox. They're like temporary tattoos, you probably heard about them. Um, I did that and it was pretty amazing. My first brand deals ever. So that was kind of fun. The comical cherry on top. <laughs> I have an audience on TikTok. When I say an audience, I mean like currently 71.2 thousand followers on TikTok. <laughs> and I say it's a joke because I started that account as a joke. I was like, oh, Charlie DiCaprio, she's going famous for doing nothing but moving her arms around. I wanna see if I can go famous for doing nothing on that app. And I started that like at the beginning of quarantine and then come 2021, right? Yeah, it's 2021, sorry. <laughs> come 2021, I now have 70,000 people following me on TikTok. 2.7 million likes and I've gone viral several times. That, that, that was not my intention. I still see TikTok as a joke, because <laughs> honestly, it is, but it's a fun joke. <laughs> so I keep going back to it. And I honestly have been growing a lot as a content creator, which is awesome. I've learned new things, I've done new things, I've met new people, made new connections, got new opportunities, and I really just been kind of happy in terms of like being a content creator for like the last couple of months. I'm trying to keep this video short because I really don't want to make this a long ramble. Oh, one last thing that has been going on. So if you used to follow me on Twitter, I'm pretty sure a lot of you did. My Twitter account got suspended, my original Twitter account. So now my new Twitter is Hey, it's Mickey. Hold on. Sorry, I had to look at my phone. So, <laughs> so my new Twitter account is Hey, it's Mickey three. If you are still on Twitter and you're like, oh, I don't see Mickey. Why isn't Mickey following me? I didn't unfollow you. I didn't block you. I was suspended. Um, I didn't really say anything about that because I really didn't want a lot of people to know. <laughs> But it's like, if you want to follow me on my new account, it's Hey, it's Nikki 3 It's probably on the screen. Am I coming back? Yes. What, am I coming back 100%? No. A good 51%. AKA whenever I feel like uploading a video. We've been growing and glowing and just being great, you know? Just being me. Always being me. When am I not great? That's a great question. Never. I'm always great. We all know this. Do I remember my outro? Oh, so uh, uh, make sure you, uh, oh. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure you thumbs up, comment below, and tell me, how have you been? How, how have you been? How I, no, really, how have you been? I know this pandemic has probably been crucial and a lot for a lot of you to go through. How have you been? I, I genuinely want to know. Uh, if you haven't already, make sure you hit the subscribe button because after you subscribe, I become a little bit more magical. Uh, and don't forget to hit that bell notification to be notified when I put up, wait. And don't forget to hit and don't forget to hit the bell notification so you can be notified. Wait, how did that go? Whatever. Hit the bell. Um, yeah, as always, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye! I can remember that though, but I can't remember the bell notification line. Whatever. <laughs>